Taiwan is in the process of constructing 12 new indigenous Tiankung-3 or Skybao-3 TK-3, land-based surface-to-air missile sites by the end of 2026. This development is intended to address the perceived threat posed by China's ballistic missile systems, as per a Ministry of National Defense MND, report released on October 20 and echoed by Novia Huang and Joseph Ye. The decision to establish these new missile sites is based on recommendations from Taiwan's National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology NXIST, a prominent military research institution. The NXIST concluded that the existing TK-2 missile system, which Taiwan previously employed, was no longer effective against the evolving capabilities of the People's Liberation Army's ballistic missile systems. As a result, the MND has opted to modernize its current infrastructure. According to the MND's plan, they will upgrade existing MIM-23 Hawk missile system sites and TK-2 missile sites, transforming them into 12 new missile sites designed to accommodate the advanced TK-3 land-based surface-to-air missile systems. The report does not specify the total number of existing TK-3 missile sites in Taiwan. The project is being executed in multiple phases. The first phase, initiated in 2022, focuses on converting six older missile sites to be compatible with the advanced TK-3 systems, with an anticipated completion date before the end of 2025. Simultaneously, work on the remaining six TK-3 missile sites began earlier this year, with completion expected before the close of 2026. The TK-3 system's significance lies in its versatility and its capability to engage a range of threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, anti-radiation missiles, and short-range tactical missiles. Additionally, the system has the capacity to launch older missile variants within the TK family, such as TK-1 and 2 missiles. The TK-3 system operates alongside the U.S.-acquired Patriot system and serves as an integral component of Taiwan's low-altitude air defense network, according to information from the National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology's website. This collaborative approach underscores Taiwan's commitment to ensuring its national security and defense in the face of regional challenges.